We are pleased to welcome the two female entrepreneurs who were Cartier Women's Initiative 2020 laureates to share their experience of starting a business and also passion for the world they would like to realize. After the presentations, there will be time for question and answer. A question uh, will be accepted via Zoom chat function. Please send your questions uh, to the chat function of the Zoom. The presentations will be delivered in English. Simultaneous interpretation is available through the Interprefy app. Please refer to the email that was sent to you beforehand to find out how to connect to the app. And now I hand over to the facilitator for this session. A professor, Makoto Kobayashi, a professor of Global Studies for Intercultural Cooperation of Ochanomizu University. Professor, please. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I am Makoto Kobayashi of Ochanomizu University. Uh, we will now invite two very interesting guests for this part of the conference. As you already heard, if you have questions uh, to the guest speakers or any uh, comments, please use the chat function to upload your questions. You will not be able to um, to vocally share your questions, so please send your questions via the chat function. As much as time allows, I will select or try to summarize the questions and and ask uh, the two speakers to, to respond to the questions. So the first uh, speaker, please allow me to introduce uh, Ms. Joanne Howers. Ms. Howers is joining from Australia. And I was surprised by her business because every day we use a lot of plastic and we throw away massive amounts of plastic but this is a very big problem. So she recognized the issue and she developed a package or insulating material, thermal packaging using unused wool, which is eco-friendly. So this was a, this is a great contribution to society. So without further ado, let me hand over to Ms. John Howers, please. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Joanne Howers. I'm very excited to be here. I'm the founder and CEO of Planet Protector Packaging. We're on a mission to eliminate polystyrene. We're in a race to become the market leader in sustainable thermal packaging that does not harm the planet. We manufacture insulated packaging as an alternative to polystyrene made from sheep waste wool. Today, I would like to share with you my experience as an entrepreneur in the hope that my story might inspire you if you too are an aspiring entrepreneur. I want you to know that it's not just about having a good idea. It's about the passion, the commitment and the journey. Business is a challenge, but one that's also personally very rewarding. I have for my entire life been self-employed and I've owned multiple businesses. The Planet Protector business is different to the others. It is a social enterprise that has as at its core a fundamental drive to create impact. It started through my own lived experience. This is me up there in the warehouse that you can see. My own story really is one of someone who went from being a waste offender to a waste warrior. Six years ago, I was contracted as the outsource partner to establish Australia's largest meal kit company. I was responsible for the production and nationwide distribution for this new concept called a meal kit. We were dispatching tens of thousands of polystyrene boxes to households all around the country every week. As a subscription-based service, after six weeks, these consumers had six polystyrene boxes and no way to dispose of them. People were angry on social media. I was abused many times. And I was unable to stand up and defend my client 
because it went against everything that I believed. It was this that compelled me to research and look for a more sustainable alternative. Who would have thought that the humble sheep would be that secret weapon to defending our planet? Through my journey, I discovered that polystyrene is a disaster for the planet. Polystyrene is made from non-renewable fossil fuels and takes more than 500 years to break down. Small microbeads enter the waterways and oceans and are ingested by marine life. It threatens biodiversity and moves up the food chain where they threaten human life. Polystyrene is one of the worst types of plastic. But polystyrene is not just a problem for the planet, it is also a problem for businesses too. They pay to store it and transport it, and then they have to pay to dispose of it. It reflects negatively on their corporate social responsibility, and they have to pay inflated insurance premiums because polystyrene is considered a dangerous flammable good. Until now, there's not been a sustainable alternative. Here you see my story. After months of research, our solution was born. We set up our premises, pulled together a team of equally pla passionate planet protectors, and the first wool pack liners were manufactured. Remember at this time, I was still working in the packing facility. This was my side project, but I lived and breathed the wool opportunity. I believed in it so much. The meal kit came on board as our first customer. They doubled their business in less than a year because our packaging solution enabled them to open up new markets and deliver to the far north of Australia areas that they'd un been unable to service. Early adopters made the switch, they led the pack, and over the last three years, Woolpack has, has become a well-known household name across Australia and New Zealand. It's increasingly a game changer and a product that will revolutionise the insulated packaging market. To date, I'm very proud of our impact. We've removed 7 million polystyrene boxes from supply chains. We've taken a waste stream, diverted it away from landfill and given it a second life. And we've also generated new revenue streams for farmers. E-commerce was and is still continuing to grow. Much of the demand for sustainable packaging is now being driven by consumers who recognise the devastating impact of polystyrene in the oceans. I was sailing along trying to grow my business when I was approached by Cartier. At that stage, I'd not yet heard of the Cartier Women's Initiative, but immediately it resonated with me. I couldn't believe that an iconic global brand like Cartier would be interested in supporting me to achieve my mission. I was so excited, I decided there and then that I would apply. My experience in winning as the first ever Australian laureate for South Asia and Oceania has literally changed my life. It's opened so many opportunities for my business. These are just some of the awards and the global recognition that we've enjoyed for our disruptive solution. Programs like the Cartier Women's Initiative are invaluable for gaining access to business resources and networks. The program was a lot of hard work and it necessitated a complete review of all aspects of my business. This level of business analysis would ordinarily not be available to a startup entrepreneur without a very substantial investment. The Cartier team was supportive. They coached and mentored us. We strategized with them and refined our business model. They helped me tell my story and they empowered me to be confident and to think big. If I am achieve, to achieve my mission of eliminating polystyrene, I really need to be a global business. My plans for 2021 are to expand into Southeast Asia. Many people ask, why Asia? Asia is on our doorstep and 90% of the plastic polluting our oceans comes from just 10 rivers and eight of those rivers are in Asia. It is imperative if we are to achieve our mission 
and accelerate our impact, we need to expand to Southeast Asia now. Our actions over this next 10 years will determine the state of the ocean for the next 10,000 years. I am very humbled to have won this prestigious award. Of course, the very generous prize money was welcome. But when I speak about this experience, I always say that it is the community, the ecosystem and the expansive network that I have gained that is the real prize. To be in the presence of so many other women driven by entrepreneurship and social impact has been energizing, uplifting and empowering on so many levels. The recognition, recognition is validation not only of my own personal achievements, but also the contribution of our team's collective efforts. This is something really special, and it is definitely the highlight of my career. Winning the Cartier Women's Initiative has given our business enormous credibility and created a lot of interest. It gives us a platform for our business to expand globally. The most valuable lesson I've learned through my entrepreneurial journey was to think big. Having the support of such an unparalleled network of influential entrepreneurs and investors gives me the confidence and faith that I can realise my vision. As a female entrepreneur, there are always more challenges. But if you believe in what you are trying to achieve and you have passion and resilience in bucket loads, you will succeed. The recent success of Netflix, The Queen's Gambit, is testament to tenacity. After nine rewrites, over 30 years, the producer never gave up and now is enjoyed, enjoying unprecedented success. If ever there was one piece of advice I could share with aspiring entrepreneurs, it would be this. Be bold and don't hesitate. The world is evolving every day. If you have an idea, a vision, a product, a service that you think can change the world, then get out there and start moving. Women are very supportive of other women in business. Never hold back. Ask questions. Seek support. Reach out. So resilience, my advice today, is resilience and tenacity are two of the character traits that I've observed time and time again in successful entrepreneurs that I admire. Most entrepreneurs have in, have in case, in many cases, failed and failed multiple times, but it is their belief in their vision and commitment that sees them get up and start over. My passion was gifted to me by my mum, but I'm very proud of my tenacity, which has developed through every life set setback. Importantly, I'm now at a stage I want to give back to support and empower younger aspiring female entrepreneurs. I'm doing my life's best work and I want to, to lead by example to inspire all of you here today to follow your dreams. You never know where they lead. Thank you for allowing me to share my story. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was very interesting. Using rule, that is a very Australian idea. I wonder what we can use in Japan. For example, we eat a lot of rice, but perhaps there are uh, unused parts of rice hulk that uh, could be used, or for example. Uh, maybe we will be able to discuss that further later. Let me move on to the second presenter now. And now I would like to introduce the second uh, presenter. The second uh, presenter is Ms. Nadia Gamal Eldin, and she's uh, joining us uh, today from Egypt. Uh, Ms. Eldin uh, is has launched uh, this uh, platform that provides support uh, to new mothers. And uh, she's the laureate of the uh, Cartier Women's Initiative uh, 2020 for Middle East and North Africa uh, region. Without further ado, uh, Ms. Nadia, please. Hi, everyone. I'm very happy to be here and share with you my journey today. I'll start. Uh, so this was me with my baby. I had just given birth and I had so many questions with no one to answer. There wasn't a single support platform here in Egypt 
for moms. I was very confused. I had no siblings to ask. I had no friends who had just given birth. And I had so many questions on how to take good care of my baby. So this was when the discontinuous shift happened. This is when I realized I have to put an end to this and create a proper support platform for all the amazing moms giving birth here in Egypt. So Rahid Bailey was born on my hospital bed. I started the business from my hospital bed to become Egypt's first and only comprehensive tailored fitness and nutrition platform, as well as a financial and physical support platform for new moms. So basically, Rahid Bailey is an all-inclusive support platform for moms, offering them financial, physical, emotional, social, and intellectual support through both online and on-ground services. We started Rahid Bailey, which translates into peace of mind in Arabic, in October 2015, with the mission to give moms all over Egypt much well-deserved peace of mind and providing them with all the needed answers to their questions. We support moms financially by giving them discounts on everything they need for their children to allow them to afford a better quality of life and not have to compromise. We support moms physically through Egypt's first and only tailored fitness and nutrition program for moms where they can get fit and become happy again with the support of free babysitting services for their children while they work out. We support moms socially through many on-ground complexes that allows mom to come, sleep, work out, socialize, get their work done, while we take good care of their children with live streaming services with their children wherever they are inside the cloud. We support moms intellectually through Egypt's first and only comprehensive content portal, which is momsmag.rohatbay.com, that issues thousands of articles every month, guiding moms on everything starting breastfeeding, parenting, uh, nutrition, menopause, the entire motherhood journey. We also offer B2B services for all the small, medium and large enterprises by moms by connecting them to our huge pool of moms where they can market their services, in increase and scale their current businesses. We serve currently 94 local and multinational brands using our B2B services. And what makes us different is our beautiful edge that combines both B2C and B2B services together and having a very robust, empowered, family-spirited team with less than 1% turnover in the past five years. We've had great revenue growth across the years and our, we have, our platform currently serves 200,000 moms every day. To summarize, those are all the pains moms go to go through and how we can help them. First pain is no, no one to guide them on motherhood. This is why we launched our Moms Mag by Rohit Bailey, which offers moms instant local guides, listicles, reviews on everything related to motherhood, starting pregnancy and beyond. We have over 1.5 million unique visitors a month on our content portal. Second of all, the pain of not knowing the trusted products for her children and needing instant credible replies to her questions. This is why we've launched our online platform, connecting thousands of moms to over 3,000 doctors and experts, replying to her questions on the spot, whether it's pediatricians, gynecologists, child development experts, sex therapists, and all those amazing experts reply to moms free of charge every single day. And her third pain is not having enough money to buy the needed products for her children. This is why we support her with our free application where she can gain instant access to discounts up to 50% of all her essential needs in pharmacies, bookstores, supermarkets, nurseries, and every, everywhere she needs for her child. Her fourth pain is not being able to get back into shape after giving birth to her children. This is why we launched Egypt's first and only tailored fitness and nutrition program for moms, where they can actually work out, get back into shape, have their own specialized nutrition plans based on breastfeeding, hormonal imbalances, and with live support of babysitting services free of charge for all their children so they can work out happily and comfortably. Last but not least, Moms usually don't have time to take good care of themselves, get some work done, meet their friends. So we launched our own complexes on ground that are like mini hotels for moms where they can come, they can sleep while we take good care of their children, they can socialize, they can join a book club, they can work, they can do meetings and so on. 
Those are beautiful, heartfelt reviews from our moms on how we've changed their life. They say we are their favorite thing, we're their support system. They've transformed entirely through our fitness programs, using our card, coming to the cloud, coming to our events, reading our articles, as well as pictures before and after for, from moms who have joined our fitness and nutrition programs and have transformed their physique completely. And those are more and more beautiful testimonials and ratings about our services. We also support on our B2B side, all the moms who have small, medium and large enterprises to connect their businesses with our huge pool of moms. We offer them digital campaigns, content creation by moms to moms, on-ground branding and activations, huge market research pillars. And we also offer this to huge FMCGs here in Egypt like P&G, Unilever, Cadbury, all those amazing companies work with us on market research as well as sampling through the card. Our market size is huge. We're talking about 2.67 million moms as well as 7,280 enterprises. So we believe we have lots of room for growth. We are a female based company of over a hundred women serving moms every day. We'd like to thank Cartier for their amazing impact. They've allowed us to meet so many inspiring people. They validated the need for this platform, not only in Egypt, but in countries all over the world. We've got, gotten so much positive energy and meeting the Sagana team and the due diligence team and everyone on board. It has been a life-changing experience. Winning Cartier has increased our credibility dramatically, allowed us to network and gave us huge media exposure all over the world. So we'd like to thank everyone for this opportunity, for allowing us to support moms in Egypt and beyond. And we'd like to thank Cartier for the belief, the support, the trust, Having winning this award from an iconic global brand like Cartier has been the highlight of this amazing year. So thank you so much.